Daryl Tyson has won his last six fights. He has moved up to number five in the world. Rocky Balboa from Mexico, 28 years old, has 44 knockouts in his 47 wins. A very tough competitor who's lost some tough fights, Gilbert, to some real good fighters. Yeah, Sam, when he does lose, he usually gets hit on the chin and gets knocked out. He either knocks you out or you knock him out. And you know, this fight is for the ESPN, whatever champion, NABF championship, and uh, Tyson's acting like he's already the champion. He's using that old ploy of keeping uh, Balboa in the ring. And uh, I just don't think it's a, I think it's Bush League to do things like All that. All right, Daryl Tyson, who is on a good winning streak and hoping to extend it and move a lot closer to a title shot. Tyson has had a few setbacks in his boxing career, but right now things look very good. A string of six straight wins has made him a perfect five in the world rankings. He's a fighter who doesn't like to waste punches, so when he throws a big punch, there's a good chance something significant will happen. The 29-year-old Tyson has been fighting professionally for eight years. He's had one shot at a world title. Now he's in position for another title shot. Four years ago, he lost a 15-round decision to Jimmy Paul for the IBF championship. Tonight, he goes after the vacant NABF lightweight title. And there is Daryl Terrible T. Tyson in the ring, 29 years old. And across the way, 28-year-old Jaime Rocky Balboa. And Rocky Balboa has struggled of late. It's been a rocky road, as it says, but see some pretty good names on that list of uh, losses. Well, you're not going to get much better than Meldrick Taylor, uh, Sam. To me, he's one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. But you know, I wanted to make a comment about Tyson. He has accomplished something already. He has the he has the WBC, WBA, and IBF all agreeing number five <laughs> in every organization. I don't think anybody else has done that. Tough to do. That's an achievement. We are set for the introductions to our opening bout. Let's go to ring announcer Shelly Mann. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas tonight. Madison Square Garden and Super Pro Events proudly presents the co-main event of the evening for the North American Boxing Federation Lightweight Championship, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing, and your referee is Leonard Zuniga. And now let us introduce to you the finest for the main event. Coming out of the blue corner, weighing in at 135 pounds. His professional boxing record is 49 wins and nine defeats, including 47 by knockout. He is ranked number nine of the North American Boxing Federation. He is also the former Mexican lightweight champion wearing the black and gold trunks for Monterrey, Mexico, Jaime Rocky Balboa. His opponent coming out of the red corner, weighed in at 134 and one half pounds. His professional boxing record of 31 wins and three defeats includes 15 by knockout. He is ranked number one in the North American Boxing Federation standings and also number five in the World Boxing Council. He wears the blue trunks from Washington, D.C., Daryl Tyson. Daryl Tyson in his last bout against Ildemar Paisan won a 10 round unanimous decision. Rocky Balboa's last fight was February 16th in Miami. Lost a 10 round decision to Angel Hernandez. Uh, Sam, something just very strange just occurred. They had already announced Zuniga as the referee, and just before the bout, they switched referees. Do you think there's any significance in that? Or was there a complaint? I'm not sure. Or? It was a surprise to me. Steve Jaramillo is now the referee. Very unusual. Unless Steve had to uh, go to the men's room. Well, whatever, but uh, they did announce Zuniga, and uh, all of a sudden, Jaramillo's in there. Now Tyson, as I mentioned, is a man who likes to conserve his punches. He's very efficient. You won't see him throwing many wild punches. Tyson looks in great shape, Gil. 
He always does, Sam. But the Balboa with that great knockout record, you have to be very, very careful. Balboa turned pro in February of 1981 and fought all of his fights in Mexico up until last year. His last five fights have been in the United States. How do you like these blue gloves, Sam? Nice. Good right hand by Tyson. That's the big punch. Tyson drops it in very quickly. A lot of power behind it. Three judges at ringside do the scoring. Scoring done on a 10-point must system. as Balboa dropped in a right hand. Sharp jabs by Tyson. I've noticed that when Balboa, Balboa does get hit this, Sam, he punches back immediately. And we mentioned that uh, Tyson looked like he's in great shape. So does Balboa. One thing comes to mind, Gil, about the change in referees. Jaramillo is definitely Spanish, and maybe Zuniga did not speak Spanish. I'm not sure. Well, uh, no, Zuniga does uh, speak Spanish, oh, okay. Sam. I was in the dressing room when he was giving the fighters uh, instructions in Spanish and English. In the old days, you'd think there was a betting coup going on for a <laughs> switch like that. I mean, it has to be a reason for it. Tyson's been good with the jab, Gil. Yes, he has, just hasn't missed with it. Good stiff jab, and he's doubling it up, Sam. That's scoring the points. Time winding down in round one. And this... I never saw you hit. Round two scheduled for 12 for the NABF lightweight championship. That's Another alphabet soup uh, belt, a stepping stone, if you will, toward a world title shot. For good, the left winner. Hook, good left hook by Balboa, Sam. And Sam, between rounds, Inspector Clouseau found out that uh, the reason for the switch yes. in referees is was Zuniga was never assigned this fight. Okay. Adamio had been assigned the fight, and apparently they uh, either forgot or whatever, but uh, Adamio was, has been assigned this fight, so there's no mystery to it at all. Inspector, take off your coat and stay a while. Okay, thank you, sir. Good job. Tyson has been using mostly the jab, has only dropped in one or two right hands. Balboa is starting to mix it up a little more. There's the right hand by Tyson, and a quick one. A sharp right hand lead by Tyson. And I think it's that right hand lead that surprises opponents. Well, but he sets it up with that jab, snaps a few jabs out there, lifts their head up, and then wham, along comes that right hand. But you know, uh, Balboa must be able to punch because I noticed that uh, Tyson now, when Balboa faints, he winces a little bit and falls for the faint. to Balboa, who came in leading with his head. Looked like a bull charging into the Matador. Did you notice uh, Tyson fall for that feint then, Sam? Mm -hmm. Fell for the feint, then uh, Balboa was able to land a punch. Look at that jab. Snapped the head back of Balboa. Tyson very sharp. 
We've done last few Tyson fights, and this is the sharpest he's looked. Sam, you beat me to the punch again. I was about to say the same thing. Looks very, very sharp, especially with that snapping jab. Last fight, in my opinion, he was a little sluggish. Not tonight. Balboa backing Tyson up, got in a good right hand and a trade of right hand, right hands. Coming to the end of round two. Out for round three, Daryl Tyson in the blue, Rocky Balboa in the black trunks. Check our combined scorecard, Gil. I've given the both rounds to Tyson with the second round very, very close. And Dave Gorman in uh, Tyson's corner said, just keep working that hard jab and drop a right in there once in a while. And he has dropped a couple of rights in there and almost got the sense that Tyson was trying to back Balboa up and keep him backed up with that right hand. Well, Sam, the trouble with leading with the right hand is if the other guy beats you to the punch, it's good night. Uh, Dave Gorman gave him very good advice. Keep using that left jab. Let the guy solve the jab first. Balboa using his jab mostly as a faking tool. He hasn't landed it very frequently. Now, ever since Dave Gorman told uh, Tyson to, to, to use the left jab, uh, Tyson's forgot about it. You notice that sand is? He's just flicked it out that time. There's Tyson coming in with a hook again. Balboa ineffective with his jab. Seems to be content to counterpunch with that left hook. And Balboa's been low a little bit with his punches. And you, you notice again, Sam, though, as soon as Tyson lands a punch, Balboa throws one back immediately. Can't get careless with this guy. Tyson being very patient here. It's almost as if he's pacing himself through this round. If he concentrates on that jab though, Sam Tyson, he can score all night long. But uh, he's not jabbing as much as he did in the earlier rounds. There's that right hand. Well, that's exactly the way Gorman told him. He says, move in behind that jab and then drop the right hand. Balboa just missing and not much on that jab again. Balboa's jab ineffective and not landing. End of round three. Four. The rounds have been close, but both Gil and I seem to feel that Tyson has the edge by a little bit in each round. Just a little bit, but again, we have to remember, Sam, that the fight is taking place in Texas, and I don't, well, except, yeah, he is being trained by Dave Gorman, but uh, <laughs> these little nuances uh, can change things in boxing quickly. Tyson was close to uh, being going downhill and really being on the downside of his career. He had lost three out of four fights when he lost a 10-round decision to Terrence Ali in March of 1988. Then he went with Dave Gorman and has won six in a row since. There's that right hand by Tyson. 
Best punch of the fight thus far. Solid right hand by Tyson. Now he's starting to use his strength, Sam. Well, Balboa he, tied up his right hand, and Tyson effectively banged away with the left. Well, Tyson is very, very strong inside. If he starts to, to, to bull Balboa around, it's going to be very, very tough for Balboa. He's going to have to land some good, solid punches. Keep Tyson away from him. There's that snapping jab. Yeah, that's... Wow. Why he laid off at last round, who knows? It's really the, the major difference between the two fighters. That's right. Everything else being equal, Tyson gets the rounds with that snapping jab. And Tyson has been able to keep Balboa backing up by using that jab. Glancing right hand by Balboa that brought cheers from the crowd. And it brought Balboa's adrenaline up, Sam. He sensed that he had gotten uh, Tyson's attention with that punch. You could just see him tighten up. And worked his way inside and then stopped punching. Didn't throw a punch, and Balboa came back with a five punch combination. Final seconds of the fourth round. And Daryl Tyson, unofficially, in our cards anyway, looking to build up a lead here in the early going. It's still scheduled for 12, and we've gone through four rounds. And again, Dave Gorman reminding Tyson to lead with that jab. He was that jab. You know what? Tyson says he's trying to relax. I like the way Tyson sits in the corner. That's a model for a fighter. Feet flat on the floor, hands in his lap, and very, very relaxed. That's the way you're supposed to have a fighter sit in the corner, not with his legs spread out and his arms on the ropes. Out for the fifth round for the NABF Lightweight Championship. Daryl Tyson in the blue. Jaime Rocky Balboa in the black. And we have it scored 40 to 36 for, Bal for Tyson through four rounds. With two of those rounds very close. There's been some talk that if Tyson is, wins this fight, and meanwhile, very good exchange as Balboa has come alive. If Tyson were to win this fight, ah, good right hand by Balboa. And he wobbled Tyson. Hurt Tyson. Tyson. Hurt. He is backed up and trying to tie up Balboa. Rocky Balboa, who has 44 knockouts, landing a big right hand that buckled the knees of Daryl Tyson. Well, here's where conditioning comes into play, Sam. And experience has to weather the storm. Now it's Balboa charging in for the first time in the fight. And it's Tyson backing up. And Balboa is using a right hand uppercut, Sam. Good right hand again by Balboa. Big round for Rocky Balboa thus far. Perhaps they said something in the corner to wake him up. 
But Balboa looking very good here in the fifth. Well, we knew he was a puncher, Sam, and again, one punch can change your fight around. Now they're booing Tyson for holding, but that's an, exp an experienced fighter will do. Let him get his head clear, and conditioning will take care of the rest. Tyson trying to work his way inside and trying to drop in a right-hand lead. Tyson's legs spread wide apart. He's still a little unsteady. More than a little unsteady. Balboa doing the leading and rocking Tyson again. Tyson bouncing back, landing a couple of good punches as they work on the inside. Balboa, what he should do now is faint one time before he throws a punch. Running in, just throwing punches. down in the fifth round but a big round for Rocky Balboa and the crowd here cheering Rocky Balboa Let's take a look at this action now. There's one, two, three. Punch combination. And there's that right hand again, Sam. And a little later in the round. There's the right. That was the big right hand. Rocky Balboa, 28 years old from Mexico. And a big fifth round for him. This is round six. Well, I'm sure that Tyson was in excellent condition coming into this fight, Sam. And I think that minute rest probably did him the world of good. And Tyson trying to reestablish control of the ring once again. And going back to using the jab. What I tried to say earlier is there was talk of possibly a Pernell Whitaker, Daryl Tyson championship fight if Tyson were to win tonight. But Tyson has said he is focused on Balboa, knows how important this fight is for him, and he's not thinking about Pernell Whitaker. Well, before that could take place, Sam, uh, Whitaker would have to beat Nazario in that uh, title of unification. Again, Balboa ducked down and his head went right into the midsection of Daryl Tyson and Tyson winced in pain. You know, I've never seen a fight stop with a low butt yet, have you, Sam? <laughs> no. Tyson regaining control with that stiff jab. And but Balboa is starting to put a little more on his jab now, Sam. Still isn't as stiff as Tyson's, but he's uh, reaching Tyson with the jab now. He's gained Tyson's respect because Tyson is backing up a little more frequently than he did earlier in the fight. What Tyson has been unable to do in the last couple of rounds is drop in the right hand. And you notice that Tyson is really scoring the points with the jab, Sam, but he's not throwing any left hooks underneath. Mm -hmm. I guess he's felt that right hand of Balboa, and he just doesn't want to take any chances by dropping those hands. And again, Tyson complains, walks away in pain. Well, uh, the referee should either call a low blow or don't. I'll make them fight. Tyson trying to grab a couple of seconds of rest, complaining of pain when... 
Balboa's head went down again into the midsection. Tyson seems to be okay. Time winding down in the sixth round. Where'd you get that? Let's take a let's take a look at Balboa. There's that charge into the midsection of Tyson, and Tyson really winced. But I think that was a borderline butt. This is round seven. Balboa catching Tyson on the inside. Tyson got in a good right hand. And Sam, uh, last round you could just notice the effect of Balboa's body punches. He was hurting Tyson to the body. Balboa, in typical Mexican fashion, takes a good punch. And he seems to be unfazed by all those punches he's taken, all those jabs and the good right hands that Tyson has dropped in. And Sam, he punches back. Anytime Tyson hits him, he punches back. And I noticed the last time they were inside, Tyson was so busy trying to protect himself below the belt that he forgot to fight. Now watch Tyson's left hand. Look at down there, he's trying to protect himself. Look, there it is, yeah. it's still down there. I mean, I don't, I, I don't see that many low blows or anything. I don't that think it's that bad. Good right uppercut, uppercut by Balboa got in. Unofficially on our combined scorecard, we have Tyson ahead 58-55. But three of those rounds were very, very close, Sam. Look at, look at Tyson. Every time he unless, steps out, every time he steps out, now he grabs himself on the unless groin. Unless he has a problem with the protector, Gil. That could very well be, Sam. Tyson's left hand now being held. And finally, the fighters split apart. Some swelling under the left eye of Rocky Balboa. A result of the many jabs he's taken. talking the body he threw the left on the break got a caution from the referee and you know Balboa did the right thing I mean the referee warned Balboa Tyson walked around put his hands down went into a little act and this guy jumped right on him and hit him with some pretty solid punches Sam you know you're in there you protect yourself at all times look at he's always yeah He's grabbing himself down below. Quick left hand by Tyson. Good right Florida. hand by Tyson. Good work by Tyson on the inside. Lands the uppercut, but again, Balboa counters. And Bal... End of round seven. Sam Rosen and Gil Clancy live at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas. Glad you're with us for fight night. A little delay in the start of round eight as they towel off some excess water in the corner of Rocky Balboa. Scheduled for 12 for the NABF lightweight title. It's a vacant title. Darrell Tyson in the blue, Rocky Balboa in the black. Work on the inside. Tyson working in close. And then Balboa dug a good left hook to the body, Sam. Tyson came on late in the seventh round, working that same way on the inside with some good short punches. Well, he's a very, very strong guy inside there, Tyson. The only thing is when he gets in there, he better be careful he doesn't pull straight back. Because this guy can still nail you. Tyson seems to be winging his punches a little harder right at the moment, Sam. That's, that's what is known as jab and grab by and, Tyson. And he continues to... Oh! Good right hand that stopped Balboa in his tracks. 
Sam, I don't know about you, but I looked at the canvas then. He got hit right on the button. If that didn't get him out of there, now he's complaining to Tyson that Tyson's butted him. Balboa trying to go work inside. Tyson getting in there and a good trade. And Tyson has dominated this round. And there's a cut over the left eye of Rocky Balboa. The referee has stopped time and he has called the doctor. Uh, now, Sam, the referee also has to decide if it's an intentional an, a butt, an accidental butt, an intentional butt, or a punch. Yeah. If it's an... It's a big cut, oh, yeah. the doctor says. Sure, doc. yeah. We can stop in right now. I think you need to. Look at that. It's open already? That's too big. Okay. Give, me, give him his corner a chance. To okay, I'm going to give him a corner. Go ahead. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's okay, go. Okay, they're going to let Balboa continue, but obviously... Now Balboa lost his mouthpiece, and the mouthpiece has now been thrown out of the ring, so Balboa is fighting with a cut over his left eye and no mouthpiece. And bleeding from the nose. This Very is round eight. Guy, Sam. Tyson trying to pull Balboa back up against the ropes. knowing that this could be the end of the fight for him. And look at him. Come on, Sam. And Tyson's doing the holding. The cut is not bleeding badly, but the doctor, you heard the doctor say it's a big cut. Well, let's see what the corner man can do between rounds. If, in fact, uh, it gets to the end of the round. The way these guys are throwing punches. Both fighters missing now. Balboa a little too wild. Tyson got in the left and stumbled. He was not hit. He stumbled backwards. And the end of the eighth round. Let's see what the kind of a job they do on this cut, Sam. What they, what they should be using is pressure. Pressure, cold, and adrenaline. It's right above the eyebrow. All right. Now, it was up to the referee if he, if he, he has to tell the judges if it was an accidental butt or an intentional butt or a punch. Huh? I think it was a right hand, Gil. Well, let's take, I think it was a right hand. Let's take another look. I, let's take a look. Looks like a right. Looks like a right hand to me, but the both heads were coming together. I think that right hand stopped it. I think it was a punch. I do too. Well, the fight will continue. The doctor has looked at the cut. They've worked on it in the corner. They're out for round nine. They forgot the mouthpiece. Again? Well, Sam, that's, you know, it always pays to have an old pro work in the corner. Unofficially, we have Tyson leading 77-74 through eight rounds. Cut is not bleeding badly. Done a good job on that cut, Sam. Whatever they used, it sure is working. Good right hand by Tyson. He follows with a good left hook. It staggered Balboa, but Balboa remains standing. Takes a heck of a punch, Sam. I don't know who these guys were that knocked him out. I know Mildred Taylor stopped him, but uh, he can take some punch. And he's game. Tyson again trying to land that right head. The right hand. The heads bang together up against the ropes. Tyson not giving Balboa any room to punch. Right hand lead again by Tyson. Good left 
cooked by Tyson on the inside. The best exchanges have been on the inside. And Tyson's strength seems to be taking over now, Sam. Scoring for Tyson, but not a big one. No, it was an open glove. It was a slap, Sam. Balboa seems to have slowed down a little bit. And Tyson is really snapping those punches in there now. Plenty of leverage on that left hook. Concentration on Tyson's part, too, Sam. That time, Balboa did drop in a right hand. There's some swelling under the left eye of Daryl Tyson now. And that was definitely from that right hand, Sam. Right, immediately, right in. As soon as he got hit, that he started to swell. Tyson trying to tie Balboa up. Balboa would not allow it. Coming toward the end of round nine. World champions Camille and Sammy Duvall make a splash as part of the Professional Association of Water Skiers Tour. HSE will cover the globe to bring you the best in pro. Scheduled for 12 for the vacant NABF lightweight championship. Daryl Tyson in the blue, Rocky Balboa in the black. Between rounds, a little boy I believe to be Balboa's son. We have to surmise it was Balboa's son, Sam. Came up to the apron. Little boy about six years old went up and talked to his father. I mean, that, that's really like heartbreaking wow. to me, you know? But even for the, for the commission to allow it is... Uh, that's a surprise. It's, yeah. And we could joke about it and say, is he licensed? <laughs> you know, but the, the kid was up there and he was talking to uh, Balboa, who I, we surmise is his father. Balboa has slowed down. And as you say, uh, Tyson had been on that losing streak until he went to with uh, Dave Gorman. You have to give him credit, Sam. It's been a very fast-paced fight, and he's in excellent condition. There's right that right hand. hand. Once again, it stops Balboa in his tracks, but it doesn't send him down. Sam, he couldn't get hit much harder than that. Right on the button. Well, Balboa's going to have to mount an offense now, though, Sam. He's falling too far behind in the fight. Good right hand by Balboa got in. And you see Tyson with the experience. He's smart enough to hold. He must have been shaken by that punch, Sam. And you see him duck. It's been rough. And time Balboa got the laces up into the face of Tyson. There's Balboa landing the right hand. Left hook rocks Balboa. Sam, this is Balboa's fight, though. That's the only chance he has is to exchange and nail Tyson. And he has hurt him in this round. He, he, he feels Tyson that he has, has hurt him also. But Balboa feels that he has hurt Tyson. You watch him go right after Tyson now, Sam. Fans, another right hand by Tyson. Fans, and another right hand rocks Balboa. Now he's hurt and wobbly. It's Balboa holding on. Tyson has to say to himself, what's holding this guy up? It's unbelievable. Tyson trying to finish Balboa with those right hand leads. And Balboa is hurting 
Tyson with those body shots, Sam. As one-sided as this round was. Coming to the end of the 10th round. Still two rounds to go. Call Hot Hints for the best Nintendo strategies. Oh, I give up. Don't give up. Call 1-900-HOT-HINTS and supercharge your game. Cool. I can select all my favorite games. There's hundreds of action-packed hints full of secret passwords on all the latest Nintendo games. Hot Hints is fast, fun, and it's only $1.65 a minute. Now I have the power. Ask your parents before calling. Whenever you have repair work done at home, you call a professional. The next time your golf swing needs repair, go see your Texas PGA golf professional. Let's take a look at Darrell Tyson in action. There's that clean right hand right on the button, and Balboa was still standing and fighting back at the end of the round. This I thought he had Tyson's legs a little wobbly at the other end of the round, despite the fact that Tyson won the round uh, as clearly as he did. This is round 11, scheduled for 12. And it's really turned into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Balboa goes to one knee, and they're, they're ruling a knockdown. They're ruling a knockdown. I did not think it was a knockdown. I didn't Balboa shakes his Sam. head. He, sli he slipped in the water in his corner. I agree. Oh. Right hand lead by Tyson. Sam, right on the button again. Referee Steve Jaramillo ruling a knockdown, the first knockdown of the fight. And counting the mandatory eight on Balboa. Tyson's jab has been outstanding throughout the fight. His strength inside, Sam, has also been a big factor in the fight. Balboa, nice little flurry. Tyson lands a right hand. confirmed that that little boy who did come up to the, to the apron two rounds ago in Balboa's corner was his son. Trying to encourage his father. A tough, well-paced bout. Now in the 11th. for only the second time in his career. He lost a 12-round decision to Primo Ramos in 1987. Tyson going beyond 10 for the fifth time in his career. Tyson lands a left hook and follows with a good right hand. And looking a little tired as he headed for his corner. Rocky Balboa the same. Sam, this has been a tough paced fight. These two guys were in excellent condition for this fight. And in my opinion, Sam, uh, Balboa needs a knockout to win the fight. Unofficially, we've scored it. We have it scored 107 to 101 for Tyson. We all right, let's see. Was this a knockdown? Right hand. Missed the left hook. I didn't see any punch, I Sam, that wasn't blocked. I didn't see a clear punch at all. I think there, was, there is the son of Rocky Balboa. Youngster watching his dad in a very, very tough bout. 
12th and final round. And officially, there has been one knockdown. That was in the 11th. Good hands by Tyson. Well, Tyson certainly has had a new life under Dave Gorman, uh, Sam. I don't know what the formula was, but he sure did uh, make a new man out of Tyson. Daryl Tyson, who fought for the lightweight championship in 1986, landing well on the inside. Balboa trying to answer back. And Tyson not fighting as if he feels he has a big lead. He's maintaining that same pace and same pressure. Well, Sam, I know I used to always tell my guys, when you're out of town, you have to win the last round. Never let the other guy win that last round. Tyson a little off balance. Balboa not able to capitalize. Well, he landed a left hook, Sam, but it uh, didn't have that big snap in it. Balboa is tired now, Sam. He's pushing his punches. Tyson has been able to back up Balboa for most of the fight. Just a few occasions where Balboa took the play away. And an outstanding job in the corner of Balboa of closing that cut over his left eye, which threatened to stop the fight in the seventh round. Well, they certainly did do a good job, Sam. I wonder if they used anything else besides adrenaline. There's a good straight right by Balboa. Tyson answered back with a right of his own. That may have been the last, uh, last hurrah for Balboa. If Tyson didn't go for that one, I just can't see him going. Legs are a little shaky. Yeah, though, Sam. he was holding on. and crowding Balboa, trying to deny him any punching room. Balboa getting in a good left hook to the body. And a couple of more. Tyson has not thrown any significant body punches, Gil. No, he hasn't the, the entire fight. I think he was a little worried about that straight right hand of uh, Balboa. The left hook scores for Tyson. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round here in the state of Texas. Well, until that final bell rings, you have to worry if you're a trainer. This one's over. And a good one. And the fans here at Freeman Coliseum enjoying it. Rocky Balboa, 28 years old, tough, tough fighter. He has fought some quality opponents, but on our scorecards, we think he may have lost another one to a well, I think quality Tyson, opponent. Tyson won comfortably, but uh, Balboa did not disgrace himself, and I hope his six-year-old son can understand that and realize it, Sam, because it's heartbreaking to see a little kid go up there and say, come on, Dad, you got to do it, you know? Our scorecard has Tyson. 116, Balboa 111. Three judges at ringside do the scoring. On the 10 point must system. Tyson hoping he will win the NABF title and use that as a stepping stone toward a shot at the lightweight championship. Now, this is round seven. Tyson lands that right hand and opened a cut over the left eye of Rocky Balboa. And at that point, the doctor came up onto the apron, looked at the cut, and was thinking about stopping the he, fight. He was, and, uh, and the, the kid begged for to give him another chance, let him get back to his corner, and the doctor agreed with him. Cards have been collected. Here's the official announcement from Shelly Mann. A split decision. The judges. Judge Bob Martin scores 117-110 Tyson.
Judge Jimmy Park scores 116, 113, Balboa. Okay. Judge Coronado scores it 114, 112 for the winner and the new North American Boxing Federation champion out of the red corner, Daryl Tyson. Tyson by split decision, a lot closer than we thought. We had similar scorecard to Bob Martin. Jimmy Parks went for Rocky Balboa by three points and Enrique Coronado gave it to Tyson by two. A very close decision. Daryl Tyson is the NABF, North American Boxing Federation lightweight champion. His number five ranking in the world has to be enhanced by this victory and moving him a step closer toward a shot at the world championship. Currently, Pernell Whitaker holding two lightweight titles and Juan Nazario holding one. We'll be back. Gil will be talking with the winner, Daryl Tyson, in just a moment. Welcome back to the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas, where Daryl Tyson has won a split decision over Rocky Balboa to win the NABF lightweight championship using a good right hand to stun Balboa several times, but he really couldn't hurt him significantly. And the winner, Daryl Tyson, is with Gil Clancy in the ring. Let's go to Gil. Hey, Daryl, congratulations, champ. Thank you, thank you, Listen, I have, to ask, I have to ask you one question. What has Dave Gorman done to you? Seven straight wins and you're looking better every time out. Dave Gorman, along with my management crew, Tyrone Johnson and Helbert Morrison, they pushed me, they pushed me because I was ready to give it up. Tyrone to this guy here, Dave Gorman and Tyrone Johnson. They pushed me, they said I still have it. And I owe all this congratulations to the three of them. And we're going all the way from here. Whitaker, here we come, baby. Okay, you know, uh, Dow, we know you were in excellent condition. We saw that right in the beginning. But in the early part of the fight, the big difference in the fight was your left hand. The rest of the round would be pretty even, but you'd win the rounds with your left hand. Why did that that left hand get so much better? Well, Gil, I tell you this because you criticize me so much. Every time I look at the take, Gil say, he got a good left hand, but he don't use it. So I, I owe this championship title also to Gil Clancy because he made me go in the gym and use his left hand like I supposed to, like I once used to do. Okay, th thanks a lot for that compliment, Dal. Uh, another thing, did this guy surprise you? You hit this guy with right hands on the chin. I looked at the canvas. I said, where is he? He's not laying down. He was still standing up. The guy, the guy, Rocky Balboa, I, I gave him all the credit where he got a big heart. He came to fight because the right hands that I landed, I thought he would go also. But he didn't go. He stood up there. So that let me know that I was also in great condition as well as this guy here. And I want to thank him for giving me this fight here in San Antonio along with the San Antonio Commission. Well, uh, after a fight like this, you're in line for a title show. What's the plans, Dave? Well, we'd like to bat Pernell Whitaker or Nazario. With, uh, Nazario's bad Whitaker. we got to wait until they get out of the way. And Darryl, I want to keep Darryl based, you know, busy because at this stage in his career, he can't afford to sit down. He's got to stay busy until we can get him that world title shot. And he's a guy that deserves it. But we just going to stay busy and hope Pernell Whitaker or Nazario give us a shot. Well, okay, I think you should stay busy, too. That's the right way to handle a fighter. Congratulations. Congratulations, champ. And I want to say one thing. I owe all this credit to these three men right here, three great men. If without them, I wouldn't be boxing today. And I want to say thank you also, Gil Clancy, for making me use my left jab. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Don, let's get back to Sam Rose in the ringside. All right, Gil Clancy, the ghost trainer, the ghost motivator of Daryl Tyson, NABF lightweight champion. We'll be back with another big bout in just a moment.